Hello, my name is Brian Thomas Peter. I've been working with Vast on the board for about two years now, and uh, we had the opportunity to come to the Trout Lake to do a few interviews at the same time with having the barbecue, um, so that we could introduce some of our clients to you, get some of the story behind the people that you are supporting and funding. The important thing for us is that you understand they come from very interesting and sometimes really well-developed backgrounds, and they come here and it's a complete traumatizing shock to them. In addition to the things that sometimes have happened to them that makes it even more complicated, some of these people have managed to get a grip with our help on their lives and on their futures and they're making a fantastic contribution. And we wanted to show you some of that in a short interview today. I hope you enjoy it. I, I belong to Afghanistan and uh, uh, yeah, back home I, I was uh, a social aid worker along with my whole my family, like my father, my uh, sisters, my brother. Uh, we were human rights activists. So uh, we were uh, basically working for Afghan refugees in Pakistan. And uh, I worked for uh, there for a Canadian organization uh, uh, for child rights. And beside that, I worked for a German organization as program management officer in GIZ for education policy and planning. And beside that, uh, we were like uh, raising funds and helping the people who were income, especially the children and the women. I was an actor back home. I was an actor back home. Uh, all that uh, was uh, was really destroyed, I think, because I have uh, no capacity to go back uh, to to act. And I said, okay, I have another another expertise. I worked for a long time in uh, Mexico with uh, Central American refugees in refugee camps during the 80s. And um, there was a moment when I, I was not uh, longer can can stay in Mexico. Uh, and somewhere I was forced to leave, to leave Mexico. And they provide me with a passport and a, a letter that say you have 72 hours to leave the country. Things changed and things changed very suddenly and very differently. How long did you have to get out? Uh, I need to leave everything behind in days and like it was a matter of days. And uh, like it, it's not just your moving from one part of the world to another, it is like you're changing whole your life. Yes. I needed to leave so much things behind. I, lived, I needed to leave my education, my friends, my family, and most of that, that disturbs me even now, uh, the people. That you were helping. Yeah, that I was helping, that I, uh, I had the sense of also not, I, I, I was not only helping them, I had the sense of belongingness. Yes. I was myself a refugee in Pakistan. Right. I have been throughout my life as a refugee, but uh, yeah. No one wants to leave their own country. No, no one wants to leave their people unless they, uh, they don't have to. Let's say that uh, when we are refugees, we never plan to, to go to go around the world. Is you leave your country or you die? And uh, I prefer to leave. I prefer to leave. Of course, when I came to Canada, that was uh, really, really sad because people ask me, are you happy in Canada? We don't want to fail in discussions with people. We just say, yes. Do you like the country? Yes. It's beautiful? Yes. Everything is, is beautiful, yes. but we are dying inside. We are dying inside, especially because we are living somewhere the language. We are living, we are living our culture, and it's getting far, far away from from our home home country. I need like the challenges was to uh, first of all uh, how to go along with my protection claim. Yeah, I needed a lot of information, uh, and uh, I needed uh, to have support from others in terms of uh, guidance and uh, at that time I was like as I was uh, I was coming with very bad memories after like a whole shock so I need uh, psychological support so when I came here and I emailed Vast 
uh, yes, I got a very positive response. They, uh, they asked me to come and join the refugee group. That was my first time I, I came in contact with other refugees in uh, Canada. But uh, I put it in this way. Let's say that our head is a container of dirty clothes. The therapist, the counselor, help us. He, go, he doesn't wash our clothes, our dirty clothes. He's going to explain to us which way to separate the, the colored clothes from the white clothes, which detergent to use, uh, what time we have to put on the lawn in the, in the dryer, and uh, which way we are going to fold them and put it back in the container. It's going to be in order, and we are going to have more space in our container for the next problems that life is going to give us. Uh, we are, very nice, very nice uh, that's the way that I try to explain to them and we are not a broken radio that the therapist is going to fix. No, it's like they give us company and the technique to overcome uh, that situation. Uh, now, like this is, I would say, the third stage of my life. I'm still uh, with VAST yeah. and I'm proudly still with VAST. And uh, yes, the, the difference in all the stages is before like my life was a normal life, a very struggling life. Then suddenly everything was collapsed. And then now I, I feel very much hope. I'm very much hopeful. I left Guatemala in 1982 and I went back in 2002. That's the moment when I wake up to be in Guatemala and I was, wow. I'm not, I don't belong here. But I always refuse to belong to Canada. It's like I was preparing myself to go back, but economically never prepared myself to go back. And when I went back and I saw, I thought, wow, there are three Guatemalas. The Guatemala that I left, the Guatemala that I found when I went back, and the Guatemala I dream to build. Uh, really difficult because the emotions different to be back in your home country in a, and to be ashamed that um, we didn't change we didn't change totally the society it's like to go back in um, when the airplane was uh, circulating you know, Guatemala City is in a valley, and usually the airplanes, they do a lot of rounds because they can land. I was watching the little lights, and uh, so difficult. That was the first time I uh, land in Guatemala with my passport. I never land, or I never got out with uh, my real passport and my real name. That was the first time. And uh, we go to rural areas and try, try to do my contribution in that case. I am not resolving the Guatemalan situation of the poor people, but uh, at least I am doing my contribution. You are doing something. Yeah. I am doing something, and that is like a therapy to me. Yes. It is not I am washing my hands, it is because I need to do something. Yes. And for some reason I got in that addiction, that hobby, that religion, that sport to my family. And they try to do as much as they can. But I always say, wow, that is really important because uh, uh, I accomplish to survive in Canada, but I didn't accomplish to change the Guatemalan, the, 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 the Guatemalan situation. It's still a frustration, but uh, now I can talk about, even I can talk about with other Guatemalans in Canada, with other Guatemalans in Guatemala, and uh, that helps me a lot too. And now I am, I'm, I'm planning to go back to school, and uh, I'm planning to be self-employed somehow. I want to start my own small business. I'm like in uh, in the process of contracting and uh, formal uh, negotiation with the um, partners. Yes, but soon I will be starting my business. And you feel confident about that? Yeah, I'm feeling confident. That's true. I achieved so many things, so many things. And I am proud of uh, a keep sharing my experience in Guatemala, in Mexico, in Canada with, with other people. Your endurance. My endurance. Yeah, that's something that I, I am, 
I'm proud and I, and I, I hope that I keep healthy doing what I do with the energy that I have. And uh, that's... Uh, well, Byron, your endurance is remarkable. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for inviting me. Thank you. And thank you to Bast. Ah. Thank you. Always I'll be, I'll be grateful to the counselors of, of Bast. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Then. So, if you'd like to make a contribution and support the work of Vast, it's a very important cause for these people that are coming to Canada, often in very difficult circumstances. They manage to make progress and make a terrific contribution to our country. Please go to our website and make a donation. Every penny counts. Thank you.